<laughs> Man, it's hot. No, not the integral. Like, it's literally hot. And I don't know why I'm wearing this jacket. I'm like sweating inside. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started. So first notice that um, x to the sixth plus one uh, can be factored as x squared plus one times x to the fourth minus x squared plus one. Yeah? So the product of these two is x to the sixth plus one. So we see in the numerator we have x to the fourth plus one. The only thing missing is this minus x squared and we'd love to have that in the numerator there, yeah? So what we do is just write it and make up for it. So we go x to the fourth minus x squared plus one and then plus x squared somewhere down there, yeah? Okay, now uh, the denominator um, x to the sixth plus one is I have over here is um, x squared plus one times x to the fourth minus x squared plus one, right? Okay, and so we could make two integrals out of this. And so the second integral is after the plus sign. And so we go like this and then divide by x to the sixth plus one, like that, yeah? Okay, now notice that here in the first integral, we could do this, right? So we have uh, that the original integral is the same as one over um, x squared plus one dx for this first guy, right? And for the second guy, we can do something nice, which is um, write um, first x squared in the numerator. And in the denominator, we're going to write um, x cubed squared uh, plus one. And that's the same as x to the sixth plus one. And now if we let u equal x cubed, then du is going to be three x squared. So that x squared is only missing a three. So we throw a three there and then make up for it by throwing a one third in front of the integral. Yeah? Okay, cool. So now with u equaling x cubed, the second integral says a third and I'm missing a dx, right? It says um, a third um, du, which is 3x squared dx, with u being x cubed. And so du over uh, u squared plus 1. That's 10 inverse of u times a third. And this is clearly 10 inverse of x. Right? So this is 10 inverse of x, this first integral, right? And the second integral is a third tan inverse of u, where u again is x cubed. So it's uh, plus a third tan inverse of x cubed. And then, of course, plus c done.